Yo. So here we are with another Synthwick tutorial and in this one I'm going to show you how you can actually loop your animations um, using the time loop. So here I have uh, an animation of a pendulum swinging from left to right and then back to the left and if we if I click on the, the layer we can see we only have three keyframes so one where where the pendulum is at the left and the next one where it's at the right and then this one is basically a copy a duplicate of the first keyframe okay so notice when I go down here there's no action taking place because there are no keyframes so let's say I wanted to loop this animation all the way down um, to um, let's say maybe whatever amount of frames I wanted to you would more than likely have to create more keyframes and then move the pendulum into position um, all the way down to X amount of keyframes but an easy way to do this in um, Synfig is with the time loop and to create a time loop just right click over here in the layers panel go to new time and then click on time loop so let's take a look at the properties for the, the loop so here we see link time, local time, and duration. All right, we'll mostly be using the duration, but I'll just explain these two. So the link time is where you want the loop to start. So if I click on, if I type in, let's say 10, for example, the pendulum actually moves, and this is where it would be at frame 10. Um, and the Um, but I'm actually going to set the both of the the both of these to zero, and go back to the pendulum there. And if I scroll down, so the animation actually stops at 48. So what we want to do is loop it at frame 48. So if I click on the time loop, go to duration, and just click type in 48, and it's basically wherever you want to to loop the animation that's where you would set the, the the time the duration okay i want mine to loop um after it reaches frame 40 days i want it to loop all over again okay so if we should play back the animation now we see that it's playing all the way throughout um the other frames right and there are no keyframes telling it to to do that so this is a cool way at least a cool feature to loop your animations without having to spend the extra time to you know go in and add additional keyframes to perform the same action over and over okay um so that's it for this tutorial and i will see you in the next one Yo, MRD.